Hi, this is Ritesh. In today's session, I would be covering how to enable tracing to help troubleshoot CRS issues better. Firstly, I would be considering an OS level parameter called SRVM underscore trace. This is uh, particularly useful for troubleshooting any Java based tool that CRS uses. One such tool is the SR SRVCTL. Let's just take a quick example of what's going to happen when we enable this. So first let's see what happens without that enabled. Now I use the SRVCTL to stop one of the instances. Now let's set this parameter. Now let's start the same instance. Now you would see a whole new detailed level of logging each and every operation that's being performed over here. So here you see it's attempting to start the the instance and uh, there are many more options that you can actually see over here when you actually enable the this OS level parameter. So it's basically executing the CRS underscore start command for this particular resource name. So it basically gives you a more uh, in-depth insight into what uh, this command would be internally running. The SRVCTL command would be internally running. Okay. Now let's uh, now look at how we can enable tracing at some of the uh, background uh, processes. We can enable tracing dynamically on the CRS, uh, the, C the CSS and the EVM uh, processes. Uh, for this example, let's consider enable tra uh, to enable a more detailed level of uh, debugging on the CRSD um, process. Now basically the CRS monitors, starts, stops and uh, does the failover operation of CRS resources like the instance, listener, the services etc. So I'll just give you the syntax how we can actually enable debugging on the CRS uh, on the processes. Here, uh, the CRS CTL debug log resource is the resource name could be CRS, CSS, or the EVM, and one of the modules in those uh, uh, resource uh, on, on the processes. And colon one is uh, the the level of debugging on which we need to enable. One being the lowest and five being the highest. So. So let us now find the modules uh, on which we can enable tracing for the CRS resource. So sorry, it's LS modules. So these are the um, modules for the CRS process that we can actually 
enable tracing and we would be um, considering the CRSD for now the CRSD module this needs to be run as root so I need to go back the CRSD has to be all in uppercase so it's case sensitive okay so we now have a detailed level of uh, debugging on the CRSD module now let's try to start or stop a resource and you would see the difference in uh, in the level of logging Unset. Now let's shut down the the prod one instance again. Now let's examine the uh, CRSD log file. So you can see over here, this is, I have navigated to the portion of uh, the log file where uh, we did not enable that uh, debugging level 5. So here you see this is a pretty moderate trace file where it uh, displays when the CRS uh, the resource uh, went down or up as compared to what you would see over here. This is where we have enabled the debug level as 5 so this has a much more detailed level of tracing and we would generally use this only when we have when we run into some serious issues and we actually uh, have raised an SR and the SR has suggested us to in to increase the log logging level of the process well, uh, that concludes the session.